What's going on guys, Billy Pinkney here alongside Miles Williams for this episode of Tip Tuesday. All right, Miles, so you spent a few years with the Miami Marlins organization. Something I've noticed about you is your insane cannon. Uh, I just I want to talk a little bit about fielding the ball and launching over to second base. All right, cool. Yeah, you know, I try and tell people uh, it all starts in batting practice when it, when, when we talking about reads and everything. But uh, when I get out here, first thing I like to do, any field, uh, even at your home field too, just because they might cut the grass and stuff. You know, if the grass is cut, it can kind of change the way the ball is on the ground. And just make sure uh, if I'm at a new field, you know, take some balls, throw it off the wall, see how it kind of caresses off of that. Right. Uh, just, you know, just kind of get in the field for the position you're going to be in. And I, I say that everywhere in the outfield. Um, just seeing how the ball kind of comes off the ground and, uh, and then how it plays in the stadium. Uh, am I going to have the sun? Most stadiums, sun's in the right field. So I try and batting practice no glasses, try and actually work with the sun. Uh, it's hard, but you know, then come in, uh, take a few balls where I'm going back, then also take a few balls where I'm back coming in. Um, and then I know that with my, on my glove side, that's a lot easier for me to catch the ball. So I like to kind of try and play a little bit more in the gap a little bit, uh, give him the line, uh, cause that's just my strong suit, play your strengths a little bit. Uh, but then, you know, when it all kind of started, Matt Curtis at, uh, at Cal State Northridge showed me this. He's at uh, Loyola Marymount now, um, was at USC as well. And, you know, we did a drill where you kind of come back, ball's right there. Um, and usually if a ball's down the line, as if, if, if I'm a right-handed thrower, you're going to do a reverse pivot, what we call. So let's say the ball is on the line over there in the corner. I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I, I get to my position and then get the ball into my glove and immediately reverse pivot. My sights are right there. And I'm ready to go to second base. Right. So I'll, I'll, I mean, my arm's not warm, but I'll throw it to him if he wants. So a, a reverse pivot, if the ball is too on the line side in right field right. and you can't get around the baseball, you got to reverse pivot. So we're going to get it here, get in the glove, we'll just toss it in there. And I usually try and one hop it every time, uh, unless somebody like I'm about to throw them out. But that's the reverse pivot, and uh, but also a good little drill if you can't, don't have somebody to throw with is you put the ball right there. Okay, you have your regular read or your your presets. So pitcher comes set, about to throw. When he comes set, that's when I start to creep. But I'm not, and I have my little hula hoop, as we say, my little area where I actually want to be when the ball hits the hitting zone. So it's going to be something like, you, you can actually, you, why don't you do a picture for me? Sure. I go, you come set, yep. come set, and then I'm into my, that's my hula hoop area. Right. Then I'm ready to go. And if the ball hits me on the ground, pop, 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 make sure you get here and it's out in front a little bit, not back here. Because if you do that, if it bounces somewhere and you're trying to field it behind, you're not going to have any, any room to, to, right. to grow. You can kind of read the hops if you're getting out up here and it skips on you, you can move, move. Some people like to field it this way. I like to go this way. Um, that's what they taught us all the way growing up. Uh, Tarek Brock, who's the uh, first base and outfield coach with the Pirates now, he taught us right here. So, but this is a good drill to work on coming through the ball. Put the ball in your glove and come through, you know what I'm saying? That's, put the ball in your glove, work on your transfers, come out. So then if a ball is, you wanna roll me the ball? Oh, my bad brother. You roll me the ball, a little softer, come in it, it'll look something like that. You come up already. So I say the transfer is the biggest thing to me. I, I try and in batting practice, even at the house, sometimes I'll just have the ball in my hand and I'm just, Working on the transfer just like an infielder does, constantly getting the, the two seam. Um, and then the, the whole arm part, I always had a cannon 
growing up, you know, I wasn't as accurate. Um, I used to throw rocks and stuff in the creek, but I could kind of let it eat. I played football too, always threw the football. You'll see us throw the football just because I'm all about the arm care. So for me, I'm uh, in the off season, I throw almost every single day where I work out, um, whether it be 60 feet, 40 feet, just making sure I'm working on my, my arm slot. Cause sometimes as, as an outfielder, I like to get right here. You know, I just want to make sure I backspin everything. So when I'm trying to hop everything, it'll just be a perfect one hop. And uh, it's, it, you gotta take pride in it. Right. You're not always gonna hit. Yeah. And if I'm not getting hits, nobody's getting hits. That's how I see it. If the ball's in the air, I'm catching it. Um, I'm gonna do my the, my, my the best I can to get there. Um, keeping the double play in order. You know, I'll try and, if I can't throw the guy, or if I can't catch the ball, well, accept that. That's not your job anyway. If he hits the ball that far, Make sure you get around it or you do the reverse pivot, get the ball in so that he has to stop, right. you know? Um, and then whenever someone gets on second base, you have to anticipate the ball. Yeah. Know what you're doing, no matter where that's every base. So I'm always trying to back everything up so it knows that I know that I'm in the game. Um, and I, that was just, I had a coach when I was younger and he was very militant about those things and right. back up bases and it took me far because you're always aware and your instincts are just, constantly uh, going so right now say there's a few guys on base and a guy hits you grounder yeah where are your guys going where are your eyes going when you receive my them? eyes because well, you don't know you know sometimes you don't mm -hmm. know if you're going to be throwing the ball home or to second base you don't yeah. know with the situation so it just like it all depends early in the game i'm trying to throw that guy out at home plate right. um just so we can cut down some stuff but like if we have a little lead you know we have we're up five to six runs let's just keep that man the man that just hit the ball or the man on hit the ball off his second base let's keep that double play in order so when i say keep the double play in order you know he might give up a, a line shot to me and i know that i can throw that guy out at home but it not necessarily it's going to be if he play and i and i gotta let it eat a little bit this guy can kind of come over to second well if we're less than two outs you know i gotta help my pitcher out too, play the game the right way if he gets a ground ball and that man's on second base he gets a ground ball we turn the double play i feel good about what i did um I'll, we can sacrifice a run it, that depends on the situation now um but also working with your outfielders because you can't you got to make sure you get the ball because there's nobody behind you um so you know we're constantly talking out here hey i got your back blah blah blah, blah. hey you know throw them out if, 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 if you got to cut it off or get around it, you can't just keep the double play in order. So uh, having your, your outfielders communication is key. And you can hear, because you'll have some guy saying 4-4, four, four, you'll have some guy saying 2-2. Two, two. Right. But I, you know, you got to know your, your outfielder's voice. And he, he's the one that's seeing everything. So me personally, I, I try and anticipate the situation. I know who's running. I, I watch, you know, the guys that you're playing against. So I know that if I'm coming through the ball, I have a shot no matter what. Now, um, that's me because I take pride in, the, in my arm and I take pride in making sure that I throw low enough to where that kid can't, is like, oh no, is he gonna cut it? So that's kind of how I, I, try and, I try and hit my guys in this box right here. Yeah. And, and I know that I have enough arm strength to, to make sure that it, it bounces on a one hop. And then sometimes if you gotta let it eat, let it eat. Miss on the high side, but that's, it's, it's about the communication. Uh, with your outfielders whenever you're not looking when you can't you know you can't do this and look up at the same time or it's going to yeah. skip on you right, so right, right. awesome stuff miles i appreciate yeah, it yeah no problem brother see you next time here on tip Tuesday. Good. we would like to thank you for watching this video here on billy the bat boys corner hit our subscribe button on the top left hand side to see more content like this on the right hand side we have some videos lined up for you as well also stay connected with us on social media by following us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.